Do you feel like you ever grew up? <laughs> it would be pretty hard to get better than Bacham. If there was an idea, he could take it and he'd just make it work. The use of new materials was unusual. I learned that there was a different way to do design and build and whatnot for film. He understands the story. Artistry. He made it look simple. We got to build everything. This man is a Yaley, not Uncle Timmy's school of theater design. He's just very humble. He's never going to stop. It's, it's what he does, it's who he is. Well, I would hope that people watching this movie aren't dealing with one of the adults who is psychotic, a son with bipolar. I think there are a lot of people who deal with a kid with addiction. I think anybody dealing with a bunch of teenagers all at once is overwhelmed. Ah! Different ways to divide the world up into groups, right? The group that has teenagers and the group that doesn't. With the kids, we're equal but different. We, we are the adults, we do have responsibilities that they don't have, but as a person, we're each equal. It's like we're all twins or something, we can read each other's minds. Well, I was on a lot of drugs and I would sleep in the woods at Hidden Beach. Oh, why can't I be normal? Why can't I fit in? Why can't I finish high school? Why can't I just live a normal life? There was never any expression of concern over this. They'd be doing this stuff whether I knew or not. I think we need to have some sort of a united front on this. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No comment, no reaction, nothing. One major issue is that um, the father is not the biological father. His thinking is not reality-based. Alcoholic personality, ambivalent gender identity, hates women. I go home to the house, and I, it is pointed out to me, and all my shortcomings are pointed out to me, over and over and over and over. No, I don't think I want to be part of this family anymore. This is a crisis. This is serious. This is bad. But I'm not packing my bags. I'm not walking out on my family. I'm not running out on my family. Would you take in those pictures there? Yeah, we're shooting this on video. I'm making a movie. Oh, are you? What do you think of American Indian time? Good fucking question, dude. A new president on higher taxes. Somebody to run the country that can run it. Let's have peace, not war. America doesn't need anything. A woman president. Better wages. Education. More respect. Sacrifice. In the fall of 2002, I began a journey across America. I would travel from New York City to Los Angeles by train, asking people one question, what do you think America needs? I think all people in Congress and the Senate should be wearing the American flag as a jacket. It needs a lot more kindness from human beings toward each other. Where were you when we were, when the coal got hit? When you, when the embassies got bombed? Well, we're bombing the shit out of the rest of the world. It just seems so hypocritical and self-centered to ask us what we need. Why don't we get off the rest of the world's back? There's a lot of people living on this planet who are doing a lot worse than we are. J-E-S-U-S. We need him in our lives. <laughs> Lots of love. He needs everybody to be creative and uninhibited and special. And better dental care. <laughs> uh, you probably don't want to hear what I got to say. You know, I just feel like I'm a vehicle to hear all these things, you know. I don't have my own agenda.